Welcome back to the 6th Gear Garage. Thanks to everyone for blowing up my last video, which was a review of my 1985 Toyota. Since the Toyota uploads get so much love, here's another. This week, I'm going to show how to remove and install the B-pillar trim on these trucks. These old trims break easily if you're not careful. They're held on by three clips on the back side. If you just yank these off, the trim can break where the clips mount. You can see this one has a hairline crack right here on the top mounting point. But that's easy to fix. I'll show how to repair a damaged one later in the video. Right now, let's remove one using these panel poppers. The goal is to slide the poppers behind the trim cover around the mounting point to get as much even surface area as possible and give it a squeeze. And hopefully that will break the clip and not the trim. The clips are suicide clips designed to break and keep the trim intact. But sometimes the clips can be a little stubborn. So this is my lifted two wheel drive 87 and that's a really squeaky door. <laughs> and uh, it's gonna be a B pillar trim donor. I'll start on the bottom clip first. It's the easiest to get to. There we go. Make sure not to lose these rubber gaskets. See, there's a little room for the trim to slide up and down on the clips. I find the mounting points break less when the trim is slid up as far as it can go. Now I'm going to get in here and pop the top one. It's giving me a hard time here. I'll try it from the other side. There we go. That was loud. Hopefully that was just the clip and I didn't break the mounting point. By the way, put a rag behind the tool if you're worried about scratching up the paint. Now I'm just gonna bend this out a little bit and slide the whole thing up. There's also a smaller gasket on the back that stayed behind here. Don't wanna lose that. All right, no cracks there. Middle one is good and spider nest, but the top's good too. Here's one of the clips. You can see one of the tabs broke off and that's normal. New ones are only a few bucks at Toyota. Because I slid the trim up off the middle clip, it's still intact. Let's see if I can save it. Uh, oh, nope. Quite brittle after 32 years. Let's say this didn't go well and one of the mounting points cracked. Here's a pretty good example of that. Just gonna put some super glue on there. A little right here on this point too. Now, just push this back down. It's not gonna stay down if I let it go. There we go. Leave it clamped for a few hours and it's good. Let's go back to the garage and I'll show you how to install B-pillar trim with new clips. On my 1985 Extra Cab. This has been an eyesore for a while and I finally bought a trim cover on eBay. Notice the extra cab uses a thinner trim cover than the standard cab. I don't have a forerunner here to compare, but it's really thick and it uses four of the top and middle clips and just one on the bottom. So this is the bottom clip. It's different in the middle and top. I'll put this part number in the description. Maybe you can find them cheaper online than three bucks each at the dealer. Although I do love pulling into the dealership in my Yoda to buy parts. All like, make Toyotas great again. Hey, that would be a good shirt. I'll have to add that to my store. I'll put a link in the description to the store for stickers and some Toyota shirts I designed. If you want to help support the channel with some rad gear. Just going to slide the bottom clip in. You can turn it 90 degrees. Nice and tight. Here are the clips for the middle and top. Different part number. I'll put this one below in the description as well so you can just copy and paste it if you're ordering them online. Remember, if you have a 4Runner, you'll need 4 of these for each side. Trucks just need 2 per side. Alright, I have the 3 clips and both rubber gaskets in place. Let's get this installed. Just make sure the clips are all lined up with the holes here. That little tick sound you just heard. 
That's the clip going into the body. Don't let go of the trim until you hear that sound or it can fall off. Had that happen a minute ago. I'll save the bloopers for the end of the video. This middle one isn't locking in very easily. Let's try the bottom one first. Oh, that was easy. And there's the middle one. Once all the clips are in, you can slide this trim down a little to reduce this gap at the bottom. So that looks much better. Hopefully I saved someone some headache or money with today's video. Please give it a like if you found it helpful. Consider subscribing for more how-to videos and project vehicle updates, especially if you're into Yodas, here at the 6th Gear Garage. And then I just want to move on down to the next clip. Cut. Bring in the stunt double that knows what he's doing.